Hello, beautiful friends and bookish fam. My name is Brittany. This is Rescues and Reads. Thank you so much for joining me here today for another bookmas video. If you are new, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. And if you are a returning subscriber, as always, I appreciate your continued support. Thank you for returning to another video. Today, we are here to do a series recap. So a big goal of mine in 2023 was to make progress on some of my in progress series. Now, I believe it was for Book Miss last year where I did kind of an overview of all of the series that I was currently in the middle of that I did have plans of continuing. And so I put all of that information into my book tracker spreadsheet and I've been keeping up with it throughout 2023, tracking the series that I've completed, caught up in, DNF'd, made progress in, etc. And we're going to kind of run through that here today. So we're going to start with the series that I've completed, meaning the series is complete. There are no further books. There will be no further books. And so I'm completely done with the series and I no longer have to worry about it. I will then also discuss the series that I have caught up in. So maybe the series itself is ongoing and there will be future releases. But until then, I have caught up. Then I will go ahead and discuss quickly the series that I've DNF. So these are series that I will not be continuing with and they will be removed from my spreadsheet for 2024. And then we're going to end with the series that I've just made progress in for 2023 that I haven't caught up in or completed. And then finally, the series that I've made no progress in for 2023. So for the series, sake of expediency, I'm not going to be holding up the individual books. I will be going ahead and popping them up here on the screen for you. Again, I know editing Brittany is not going to be too terribly thrilled about that. Current Brittany does not want to have to keep getting up and down to grab these books and put them away, especially since I have my unhaul books still scattered all around my office and I have my laptop sitting here on my lap to actually go through the spreadsheet. So present day Brittany wins. All right, so as I mentioned, we are going to start with the series that I've officially completed. I've completed eight series in 2023. Two of them were actually by Carrie Maniscalco. I finished the Stalking Jack the Ripper series earlier this year. The final book was Capturing the Devil. And then I also finished her Kingdom of the Wicked series. I read books two and three both this year, completing both of those series. I also completed the Curse Breaker trilogy by Bridget Kemmerer. I read A Vow So Bold and Deadly, which completed that trilogy. I also completed the Nevernight Chronicles by Jay Kristoff. I read Dark Dawn as the third and final book. And boy, did that book shatter my heart into a million pieces. I was sobbing by the end of that story. It was just absolutely amazing. It's one of my favorite series of all time. I'm glad that I finally continued it, but boy was it an emotional roller coaster ride. I also finished The Raven Cycle by Maggie Stiefvater. This is a quartet of magical realism, young adult stories, and I'm glad to be done with it. I wasn't even sure if I was going to finish it, but I only had one book left and I was like, you know what? Suck it up, do it, get it over with, and I'm glad it's done. So it is done, it's over with, and I do not have to worry about it anymore, and I will not be reading the spin-off series that came after it. I also read Fly Away, which is the second book in the Firefly Lane duology by Kristen Hanna, so that completes that duology. I also finished the Diviner series by Libba Bray. This is another young adult kind of magical realism speculative fiction series and I read The King of Crows which finished out that series. And then finally I finished the Bellinger Sisters duology by Tessa Bailey. So those are the eight series that I have fully completed in 2023. No further books are expected to be published in these series so I should no longer have to worry about them anymore and they will be removed from my spreadsheet in 2024. I also did catch up in a handful of series in 2023 which we will go over right now. I did want to quickly mention, since I failed to mention it at the beginning of the video, that I do have some books on my TBR for December that will also be continuing in series. And so once we get to those series that I will be reading more in, I will go ahead and mention them in this video. Now I'm filming this very early and there's every possibility that I will make even more progress in these series in the month of December. And if that happens, I will go ahead and leave a pinned comment under this video with all of the updates so that if anybody comes back and watches this video in the future, they will be able to see the finalized updates for the 2023 year. Now in terms of the series, that I've caught up in. The first one that I have here is the Finley Donovan series by El Cosimano. I actually just read the third book in that series and currently that is all that has been released. The fourth book is actually releasing early next year. So basically once that happens I will no longer be caught up in the series but for the moment I'm completely caught up on all releases in this series. I'm also caught up in the Unsub series by Meg Gardner. I read the third book this year as well thinking that that was the final book and then I heard that there was going to be at least one more book coming out. So again I'm only caught up for the time being. There will be another release. I don't know whether it came out at the end of this year or whether it's coming out next year but either way there is going to be a fourth book and so I will no longer be caught up in 2024. Another series that I'm only caught up in for now for a very short time is the Crescent City series by Sarah J Mass. I read House of Sky and Breath earlier this year with Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand and the third and possibly I believe final book in the series is coming out in January so that will be coming out very soon but again as of this moment I'm currently caught up in that series. And the very final series that I caught up in was the Desert Plain series by Victor Methos. This is a series of legal 
legal thrillers and there are currently three books in it. I have no idea whether Victor Methos plans on writing any other books in this series but I will definitely be reading more should he choose to release more in this series. Now let's go ahead and discuss the series that I've decided to DNF. So these are the series that were in progress at the start of 2023 that I've made the decision not to move forward with. So the first we have The Remnant Chronicles by Mary E. Pearson. This is a young adult fantasy series that is very very popular. A lot of people really love this series but I was never truly fully connected to it and it's been a long time since I read the second book in the series. I remember absolutely nothing that has happened in it and I'm just not motivated to continue. Originally I was going to continue because there's only one book left but I just really don't want to. Like the idea of reading it is probably enough to put me into a slump but yeah I did make the decision to go ahead and just let this go and I have since unhauled and sold all of the books in the series. I also made the decision to DNF the 10 Tiny Breasts series by K.A. Tucker. These are some of her earlier books from like a decade or so and I really enjoyed the first book overall. It was definitely high drama for sure. I got into the second book and it was just really immature for me. I wasn't vibing with what was going on in the story at all and so I just made the decision to DNF it and subsequently DNF the series as well. I have also made the decision to DNF the Empire Nightclub series by K.A. Tucker but to be honest this was only a series that I was tentatively going to continue. I read the first book only because it was a selection for Chelsea Palmer's book club. I was a part of her Patreon and this was a selection for one of the monthly reads and I went ahead and picked it up. But the Empire Nightclub, kind of like a mafia romance and it's nothing that I would have ever picked up on my own. The books are very very short, they're quick, they're pretty much smut over anything else and that's really not my vibe. Even though I enjoyed the first book to an extent, I gave it about a three stars and I was like oh it's okay I think I'll go ahead and continue. I ultimately made the decision that I don't want to waste my time on it. It's nothing that I'm super excited about and there's just not enough time in the world to read all the books that I want to read and I really don't want to waste any time on a mediocre series or a series that will probably end up being mediocre so I made the decision to go ahead and not continue with it. I also made the decision to DNF the Nicole Foster series by Greg Olson. This is only a duology. There are only two books in it and I read the first book and this was another situation where I was like mm, it was okay it wasn't my favorite but I guess I'll go ahead and continue and I really just need to stop doing that. If the first book of a series does not absolutely blow me away and make me instantly want to pick up the next book I really should not be continuing in the series because if I don't continue with it right away and it just sits on my shelf I quickly lose interest in it and it really becomes a chore wanting to pick that book up. So even though I was going to go ahead and continue with the duology because again there was only one book left I ultimately made the decision that life is too short to waste on mediocre books so I'm not going to be continuing in that duology. And then finally I decided to DNF the Atlas 6 series by Olive Blake. I read the Atlas 6 and I was not impressed. I wanted to go ahead and give the Atlas Paradox a shot because a lot of people love the Atlas 6 and I felt like maybe I was missing something. Maybe if I read the Atlas Paradox while also listening to it I would get a lot more out of it. That was not the case. I had a lot of the same problems in the second book as I did in the first book. I ended up DNFing the Atlas Paradox at 100 pages and I'm unhauling all of the pretty special editions that I've gotten from it as well as some other Olive Blake books because I just don't think that she's the author for me. So that is another series that I DNF'd. So now let's go ahead and jump into the series that I've made progress in in 2023. We're just going to go ahead and go in alphabetical order by author starting with the Bromance Book Club by Lisa K. Adams. I ended up reading the fifth book in that series because it was a Christmas book and I read it for a Christmas in July reading vlog and then I actually read book number two in there as well. So I only have two more books to complete the series and I will absolutely be doing that. I also made progress in the True North series. I read book five this year and I actually have book six on my TBR for December. So by the end of December I will have made even more progress in this series. The Savage Land series by Stacey Marie Brown. I ended up reading book three in this series. The Tracy Crosswhite series by Robert Dugoni. I have not made an official decision but I'm leaning very heavily towards DNFing this series. It's not because I do not enjoy Robert Dugoni's writing or Tracy Crosswhite as a character. Hi friends editing Brittany here. I'm going to go ahead and interrupt the rambling that I was just about to do while talking about the Tracy Crosswhite series to say that I have gone ahead and made the decision to just DNF the series. Like I was saying it's not because I don't like the writing style or Tracy Crosswhite as a character. I've just moved really far away from detective fiction and also the series was kind of going in a direction that I didn't necessarily care about and so I'm going to go ahead and just stop reading it especially as it's an ongoing series and I don't know how long it's going to last or if I would want to invest a lot more time in it. So as of now I'm making the decision not to continue with the series. I made great progress in the Stephanie Plum series by Janet Ivanovich. I believe I read books 12, 13, 14, and 15 and I will be reading book 16 in December. I also made progress in the Dr. Alex Carter series by Alice Henderson. I read book two this year. I also made good progress in the Collector series by Dot Hutchinson. This is only a quartet and I read books two and three this year. I also made progress in the Throne of Glass series. That is a series that I'm definitely spreading out and making it last as long as possible but I did read book six Tower of Dawn in 2023. I also made progress with the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. I read the third book Crest and so I only have one book to go which is Winter. I also made progress in the Grant County series.
series by Karen Slaughter. I definitely read book five so I only have one book to go in that and hopefully that will be one that I finish in 2024. And then the last series that I made progress in was the Burying Water series by K.A. Tucker. That is another quartet and I read book three in that series so only one more to go. All right now let's go ahead and touch upon the series that I started in 2023. So the very first book that I have is the Alex Stern series by Lee Bardugo which started with Ninth House and Hellbent was recently released and I believe there is a third and final book that is going to be released in that series. I read the first book earlier in January and Hellbent is definitely a priority for me as soon as I can get to it. I also started the Housemaid series by Frieda McFadden. As of right now there are two books that have been released. I read the first book a couple of months ago and I really enjoyed it. Book two is definitely a top priority in 2024 and then the third book is being released in June of 2024. I don't know how far the series is going to go or how many releases there are going to be but there are definitely two more that I still need to read. I also started Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. I read the first book in that series and I do believe that as of now it is completed. The fourth and final book recently came out in 2023 I'm fairly sure so once I'm able to read the rest of the books I will be able to complete that series. I also made the very impulsive decision to start the Stormlight Archives by Brandon Sanderson and y'all know how very epic and dense that fantasy series is. I read the very first book earlier this year. It took me about two months but it was a very enjoyable reading experience and I look forward to continuing. I also started the Will Trent series by Karen Slaughter. I read book number one and I will absolutely be continuing in that series and hopefully it stays just as strong as book number one. This is detective fiction and so I'm a little bit nervous about continuing but it is Karen Slaughter and I really do want to read her to zero if absolutely possible. All right everybody and last we just need to talk about the series that I have made absolutely no progress in in 2023 starting with the Alphabet Murder series by Sue Grafton and in all honesty this is not necessarily a series that I plan to make any progress with. This is a series that I've been reading for many 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 years. I pick them up here and there. I'm not in a hurry to complete the series especially because it is almost done. I only have to read X and Y and then I'm done. Sue Grafton unfortunately passed away before she could finish the series so it's not even going to ever be completed. X and Y are going to be my final experiences with Kenzie Melhone and I'm not necessarily ready to say goodbye even though I don't necessarily enjoy them as much as I did at the start of the series because like I've said my tastes have greatly changed since I've started this series but I still very much love Kinsey Milhone and the overall detail of the stories and what she does as a private investigator but I'm just a little nervous to continue and say goodbye especially since I know the series will never be completed and we will never really know how Kinsey Milhone's story ends. So I didn't make any progress in that series in 2023. I will definitely be reading at least one of them in 2024 because it'll satisfy a reading challenge prompt but again I'm not in a hurry to finish the series. Another series that I made no progress in was the Aaron Falk series by Jane Harper. The third book in that series has been released. It is called Exiles and I do already own the book and I will be at least reading that story but I think once I've done that I don't think I will be reading any more in the series. It just hasn't really impressed me. Jane Harper as an author hasn't really impressed me. I read a standalone of hers as well this year and I didn't really love it and I'm not really enticed to read anything more that she does so I think I'm going to read the Exiles and then consider myself caught up in the series and if more is released probably end up DNFing that series. The Farseer trilogy by Robin Hobb is one that I was supposed to make progress with this year. Me and Sarah were supposed to buddy read the second book just like we buddy read the first book but we kind of got distracted with House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J Mass, so that didn't end up happening but maybe we could prioritize a buddy read in 2024. I also didn't complete the It Ends With Us duology by Colleen Hoover. I do have It Starts With Us and it's just something that I need to get to. It's only one book and then I can complete that duology. I did not make progress in the Defy the Night series by Bridget Kemmerer. There are at least two more books in this. I believe it's a trilogy that I need to finish but I didn't read any this year. I also didn't make any progress in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J Maas. I still need to read A Court of Silver Flames. That was supposed to be a priority read for 2023 and it just didn't happen because like I said I prioritized House of Sky and Breath and then after I finished House of Sky and Breath I kind of went on a spiral and decided that I absolutely had to read Tower of Dawn and make more progress in the Throne of Glass series and so nothing else got read of Sarah J Maas's. So we're going to see what I can do to kind of tie up these loose ends in 2024. Kind of similar to what happened with A Court of Silver Flames. I also didn't make any progress in Mistborn First Era. I only have one book left to finish in that trilogy but instead I decided to start the Stormlight Archives. I have no idea why. I think it's just because Mistborn is not my favorite but I think if I were to actually sit down and immersively read the third book in the Mistborn series I would definitely enjoy it a lot more. So that's another one that I think I really need to make a priority. So that's the plan for now. I also was supposed to read Running Wild which is the third full-length book in the Simple Wild series by K.A. E. Tucker but there's just something that is making me procrastinate about this story. For some reason I'm just so worried that I'm not gonna like it and it's going to taint my opinion on the series and I don't know why that would be but I really do need to go ahead and read it in 2024 again because it will satisfy another reading challenge. And then the final series that I made no progress in is the Dogwood County series by Alicia Whistler. This is a series of adult contemporary romances that 
nobody talks about. I've heard literally nobody on booktube talk about these and I absolutely adored the first book primarily because the people in these books are older. I believe they were like in their 40s and I thought that was so refreshing and additionally dogs are featured heavily in these books because the sister of the main character from the first book runs a dog rescue. So there were definitely depictions of dog abuse in the first book but I promise you if I can handle it y'all can handle it because that is my one trigger. It's the one thing that I'm super sensitive to. Even a hint of like abuse of animals of any kind can just send me over the edge spiraling but this one for the most part was okay. I was able to handle it especially since I knew that the main characters were such huge animal advocates and were willing to do illegal things to save animals because that's what I've done and I would do in the future. So I absolutely love that about them and I am nervous and excited about getting into the other ones but again I always have to be very cautious about depictions of animal abuse or talk about animal abuse in books just because it is such a trigger for me but I really think that reading at least the first book is completely worth it if you are a dog lover. If you want a romance that features older characters definitely definitely give it a shot. All right everybody that is it. That is a recap of how I did with series in 2023 and I'm actually pretty proud of that in total. I have officially completed caught up or DNF'd 17 series so I've made a lot of progress in series and I'm being very very intentional about any of the series that I start going forward and that is it y'all. That is all that I have for this video. Please comment down below and let me know how many series you are in the middle of or if you have any series related goals for 2024. If you have made it to the end of this video and you are not feeling chatty go ahead and leave me a check mark emoji in honor of my success in completing some of these series. Y'all know how much I enjoy seeing your comments. I really love the engagement and it definitely helps my channel so so much. And as always if you like this video or if you just like me please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I am participating in book miss meaning from December 1st through December 25th. You should see one video upload from me a day hopefully if I am successful and so if you are interested in seeing what content I have in store please go ahead and also hit that subscribe button so that you do not miss out on anything. Y'all know that I love connecting with you in my videos or on any of my other social media platforms which I always leave linked down below along with any books that I've discussed in a particular video although I don't know if I'm going to be linking all of the series. I don't know if I have the time for that y'all but until next time bye.